The sky may be falling, but CD rates are still climbing. And in this video, we'll show you how to earn up to 7% APY on your cash, which is incredible in today's market. Best of all, your money is fully insured by the US government, so you don't have to worry about a bank collapse. Without further ado, let's dive right in. For those of you new to the channel, CDs stand for Certificates of Deposits. They're like a supercharged savings account. You agree to lock up your money for a given duration, often for a few months to a couple years. In return, banks generally offer you much higher interest rates. And when the CD matures, you can either renew it again or cash it out into your favorite checking account. Now, there can be penalties if you cancel your CD early, such as losing three months worth of interest. So it's often best practice to only deposit money that you won't need anytime soon. But overall, CDs are incredible, no risk products to earn some really high interest rates. And let's start off with number 10, and that is Capital One. They're a crowd favorite for good customer service and really interesting products like the Venture X, one of the best credit cards in today's market. And they're still delivering really amazing value for their customers, including a 5% APY on an 11 month CD. And that's a phenomenal rate, especially because there's no minimum balance required. Now, I did give them five stars in my last video, but since then, a lot of banks have caught up. So right now, I'd give Capital One 4.5 stars for good customer service and still really good rates. Don't get me wrong, Capital One is still a solid choice, but there are a lot of other alternatives that could be even better. And coming in at number nine is Synchrony Bank. They're offering 5% APY for 14 months with no minimum balance. So a little bit longer than Capital One. And that's really about it. Personally, I'd give them 4.5 stars as well for good customer service and good rates. Their mobile app and websites are a little bit lackluster, but overall, they're still a really good choice. Number eight is one of my favorites, and that is Ally Bank. They offer great customer service and are pretty good with technology. And right now, they're offering 5% APY for 18 months. That's 1.5 years of earning some really high rates. There's no minimum deposits and no maintenance fees, making this one of the best options for many beginners. Plus, you can even score a 0.05% loyalty reward if you renew your CD with Ally Bank. Tiny perk, but hey, I'll take it. Additionally, Ally Bank offers a no penalty alternative at 4.75%. And this is ideal for anyone who wants high interest rates, but might need money within the next 11 months. And to be honest, a 0.25% difference isn't really that significant. And with rates continuing to rise, I would actually pick the no penalty Ally Bank CD over Capital One. Although the APY is a bit lower, there's a lot more flexibility in case your plans change. But overall, I'd give Ally Bank five stars. They have good customer service, great rates, and a lot of flexible options that work for most people. Now, the last three banks are perfectly good options. They're national brands with billions of dollars in market cap. That said, there are some regional banks that might offer even more value. For example, at number seven, we have Merchant Banks of Indiana. They're offering 5.13% APY on their Flex Index CD. These CDs automatically adjust their rates with the federal funds rate. And so if the Fed continues to push rates even higher, you're automatically earning more money. Best of all, you can pick between one, two, and three year terms. They do have a minimum deposit of $1,000, but this automatic rate lever is pretty intriguing. So for that alone, I'd give them a nice five stars. Coming in at number six is Forbright Bank. They're offering 5.25% APY for a 12 month CD, and the minimum deposit is $1,000. There's nothing really that special about this bank, which is actually kind of a positive since there's no hoops that you have to jump through to earn that high yield. So honestly, I'd give them a nice five stars as well. Sure, they're basic, but that's a really good rate. 5.25% is very nice. 
And now we'll move on to the super high yield accounts offered by banks and credit unions. Some of these do require you to live in certain areas, so your mileage may vary. As always, it's really important to check out your local credit union because they might offer some even higher rates. For example, in our last video, we had Frontwave Credit Union offering 6% APY for 18 months to Southern California residents. Some really good rates. And at number five, we have Origin Bank. They have a performance checking account offering 6% APY on up to $40,000. That said, there are a couple hoops that you have to jump through. To get that 6% APY, you'll have to make 16 debit card transactions per month. You'll also need one ACH transfer and e-statements every billing cycle. Now, if you don't meet these qualifications, you're earning a measly 0% interest. Your monthly balance also has to be at least $4,000 to avoid paying maintenance fees. That said, the rules aren't all that bad. One of the most popular options is to use your debit card to load up your Amazon accounts. And a direct deposit from your employer could easily meet that ACH transfer. So it's not all that bad. But because there are a lot of hoops that you have to jump through and a $40,000 cap, I'd only give this a four star rating. Next up is InTouch Credit Union offering up to 6.17% APY on their high yield checking account. But there is a catch, as always. That interest rate only applies to the first $50,000 that you deposit. Additionally, you have to spend $2,500 or more with their debit card each month to qualify for that 6.17% rate. Otherwise, you may earn 2% interest or below. Plus, you have to spend at least $500 on your debit card each month, or you may be hit with those maintenance fees. Now, one popular method to hit that spending requirement is to pay for rent using their debit card. So for people who can do so without paying surcharges, this will get you mostly there. So that $2,500 checkbox is achievable, but I'd still give InTouch Credit Union a four-star rating because those hoops are still there. And at number three, we have Century Next Bank. They're offering 7% APY for the first $30,000 with their priority checking account. But there is a catch, kind of like a recurring theme here. You'll need to make 12 debit card transactions per month each at $5 or more. You'll also need e-statements and at least $500 in total ACH transfers each billing cycle. Otherwise, you'll earn a measly 0.05% APY. There's no monthly service charge and the minimum deposit is only $50. Again, the rules aren't all that bad. 12 debit card transactions are doable, especially with Amazon. And that ACH transfer isn't really that hard to schedule either. There are a lot of hoops, but 7% is a really high rate, even if there is a $30,000 cap. So personally, I'd rank them a little bit higher at 4.5 stars. Now, those last three banks have a lot of fine print, especially for their high yield products. But you know what's always been reliable? treasury bills. You're lending money to the US government and you're always earning some really high rates. Of course, if you want to learn more about how to buy them effectively, definitely check out this video here. And right now, four week treasury bills are offering 4.734% APY, which is absolutely phenomenal. And if you are willing to lock up your money for three, six or 12 month durations, you're looking at an average 5.2% APY. Plus, the interest you earn is exempt from both state and local taxes. So if you are a high earner or you live in a state like California or New York, treasury bills are one of the best options out there. And personally, I would always give them a five star rating. You don't have to worry about FDIC limits because they're fully backed by the US government. So you'll never have to worry about a bank collapse like Silicon Valley. That said, your cash will always sleep easy while earning some really high rates. And coming in at number one is brokered CDs. These are the same as bank CDs, but you can buy them via your favorite broker. 
Your money is still FDIC insured, but you have the added convenience of managing all of your money under a single platform. Plus, each broker offers a wide variety of banks to choose from. For example, on Fidelity, you can buy a non-callable 12-month CD offering 5.3% APY. There's also Wells Fargo and SoFi Bank, each offering 5.25% APY. Schwab also offers some really interesting ones, most notably a Charles Schwab Bank at 5.35%. And personally, I'd give brokered CDs an easy five-star rating. You'll always get the most competitive interest rates while also having the convenience, customer service, and variety offered by your favorite broker. And these would be my pick for the best CDs. Plus, there's no hoops to jump through, but you'll always get some amazing rates. But at the end of the day, I'd love to know your thoughts and if there are any other banks that you'd recommend for our community. As always, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.